Hello guys, this is uh, Daniel from Warmy.io, uh, an email deliverability tool that can help you to land in your emails to the inbox. In this video, I want to uh, to talk with you about some tactics uh, for cold emails, uh, so you can use them to make sure your emails are landing in the inbox and you get more results from your cold emails. So let's get started. <clears throat> The first thing I want to uh, to talk about is the uh, better not to use your primary domain for your cold emails. Uh, and what I uh, what I will suggest to do is to buy a similar domain uh, to yours. For example, if your domain is company.com, so you can buy trycompany.com or getcompany.com and redirect this domain uh, to your main domain. So when you use cold emails. Uh, better not to use your primary domain. The next uh, tip uh, and the tactic that I can I want to talk to you uh, is the domain rotation. What I uh, definitely suggest to do is uh, when you send in cold emails and you just bought the new domain trycompany.com, uh, it's better to buy uh, a few different domains. Uh, and send them from different domains because uh, each domain has its own reputation and that and what I will suggest to do is to buy trycompany.com, getcompany.com uh, and different variations of these domains and send from different domains as well so and all of them redirect to one uh, website that is yours so if someone will receive an email from trycompany.com it will get to company.com uh, uh, schedule uh, spacing between the, your cold emails is uh, where you need to send uh, at least, at least on average, two to three days between each emails. Uh, uh, and I will suggest to make around five follow-ups uh, after your introduction email. So one introduction email plus five follow-ups. Uh, according to our research, you will have the highest reply rate or on your introduction email or on the fifth follow-up. Uh, try to send around uh, up to uh, 50 emails a day, including follow-up. So your one mailbox that you are sending from your emails will send up to 50 emails a day. Uh, if, you, uh, if you are going to uh, warm, it, warm them up, uh, send maybe a little bit more. But even if you warm them up, I will not send more than 50 or 60 emails a day if you want to get super high deliverability. So don't uh, exceed these numbers. And the next point is uh, warm up your uh, your um, in your domain, your mailboxes. And you can do that with Warmy and I just showed. Uh, you have to target uh, the right people because otherwise if you will not target the right people they will mark you as a spammer and it will uh, you will lose everything actually you will destroy the reputation of your domain next emails will end in the spam so it's very important to target the right people make it as uh, don't send this uh, very broad and uh, try to find the right people that can be interested in your product the next is email validation check uh, is uh, try to validate each email uh, that you are uh, that you are sending to. Uh, you can use different tools uh, to validate if the emails the emails that you are sending to is bounced or not. Uh, you have to avoid the spammy words and how you can check it. Uh, we have an Warmy uh, a tool that can help you. Uh, let me show you here. It's loading. Yeah, so you can put your template here and check if there is spammy words, if it's personalized enough, etc. So you can use this tool in Warmy. Uh, you have to monitor your DMARC. Also, you can find tools that can help you if someone complained about uh, spam, etc. When you send your emails, never ever uh, put attachments, photos, PDF, or something like that. It will uh, increase the probability for you to land in the spam. Only plain text, no HTML, don't do that. Uh, it also will increase the probability to land in the spam. Don't put tracking uh, for open rates, etc. Uh, okay, and the rest uh, and the rest tips are more uh, general. 
but this is this is the, the thing that I can suggest you to do uh, if you want to increase your deliverability to get more replies and people are interested in your uh, in your product and continue the conversation these tips will help you to increase your open rates and reply rates even though we're not measuring the open rates do you remember uh, but uh, the reply rates will be definitely higher uh, thank you so much for watching this video uh, if you need any help you can send us uh, an email whatsapp or leave your contact and we will help you with uh, with your email deliverability or your outreach thank you so much and see you in the next video